Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be finding the area of trapezoids. Make sure you're taking lots of notes. Trapezoids is probably going to be the hardest of the shapes that we've worked on so far. So I want you to make sure you're pausing the video, taking notes, and really making sure you're understanding where we're getting the areas from. First, what is a trapezoid? A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. If both sets of sides were parallel, then it would be a parallelogram, and that's not what we're talking about. Here we have some examples of parallelograms. Notice that we can say our opposite sides are parallel, but they're not congruent. They're different side lengths. And then our other set of sides are not parallel. Here we have another parallelogram, and again, we know it's a parallelogram because we have one set of opposite sides that are parallel, and then one set of opposite sides that are not parallel. And again, the parallel sides are not congruent. They don't have equal side lengths. So we need to find the area of the trapezoid. This is going to be a little trickier than the area of the triangle or the area of the parallelogram. Just not um, as easy to understand. So, first we want to look at what we have. We know we have our parallel sides that are opposite. So in this case, AB and DC are our parallel sides. Now, they don't have the same side length. So in a trapezoid, unlike in a triangle or in a parallelogram, we actually have two bases. AB we usually call base 1, and DC we call base 2. They have two different side lengths. Now, just like in both triangles and parallelograms, your height is not going to be AD. Your height always needs to make a perpendicular line from one base to the top of the other base. So you can say that your height would be this line, or we could use this line, we could use this line, or we could use this line. What's important is that it's making a 90 degree angle from one base and hitting the next base at a 90 degree angle. So here I have drawn in my height. Now again, we don't know this, um, this measure, but right now, just bear with me, we're going to call our height h. So again, your height could be from here to here. We could have easily drawn the same line from here to here, and notice it would be the same height. We could have drawn the same line from here to here, and it would be the same height. These lines right here we would call congruent. So now I want to figure out what the... Uh, area formula to find the area of a trapezoid is going to be. And I want to use some of the information I already know, and I already know how to find the area of a triangle. So I'm going to split my trapezoid into two triangles. So notice DBA is a triangle, and BDC is a triangle. So I'm going to break these two triangles apart and then find the area of each one and see if I can use that information to figure out what the formula must be to find the area of a trapezoid. So here I have broken my two, tri my two triangles apart, and I'm just going to flip this guy around so that my base is on the bottom. So here I have my two triangles, and I know how to find the area of my triangle. It's one-half the base times the height. And again, you need to be careful. Your height is not this line AD. Your height is the perpendicular line from the base to the t um, vertice of the triangle. So my height for my triangle is the same as the height of my trapezoid. Same with this triangle. And remember, these two heights are equal. So the area of each one of my triangles, for this first triangle, it's the area equals one-half base one times the height. And for the second triangle, it's one-half base two times the height. And remember, the height is the same. So let's see if I can use the algebra that I know to find the area of a trapezoid. Remember, my trapezoid area is both of these triangles combined. So the area of my trapezoid is going to be half base, one half base one times the height plus one half b two times the height, which is just the sum of the two triangles. Now I know from my algebra that I have one half as a factor of both of my terms and the height as a factor of both of my terms. And I can factor out then one half times the height as my greatest common factor. I can factor those out. 
so the formula of the area of the trapezoid is going to be that the area equals one half the height times the sum of the two bases, B1 plus B2, the sum of the two bases. And remember that your bases are the parallel lines. So let's use our formula to find the area of another trapezoid. Here we have another trapezoid that also happens to be labeled A, B, C, D. And we have our parallel sides. Remember your parallel sides are going to be your bases. So base one and base two. Your height is not the same thing as your slant height. DC is your slant height. But DE, the line that's making a perpendicular line from one base to the next, and I could also have my 90 degree angle be here. The perpendicular line from one base to the next is your height, and in this case that's 9 meters. So we're going to use our formula. Please make sure that the formula is in your notes because it's really important. So our formula is going to be one half of the height, which is 9 meters, times 10 plus 18, the sum of the bases. You need to make sure that you are following the order of operations when you are finding, uh, when you are simplifying your area. So we start by simplifying the 10 plus 18. And now I can use my commutative property to simplify if I want to because I notice that 28 is divisible by 2 or will be multiplied by 1 half evenly, but 9 won't be. I'm going to start by multiplying my 1 half times my 28. And I'm going to get A equals 9 times 14. And then I just need to finish that math. I get my answer as 126 meters squared. Remember, whenever you're finding the area of a two-dimensional figure, it's going to be in square units. So in this case, meters, because our um, side lengths are all in meters. So in this case, meters squared. Our area is 126 meters squared. Thank you so much for sticking with us today. If you have any questions, bring them to class tomorrow. We're going to be working on this uh, for a few days.